we just saw the single biggest mortgage rate drop in 12 months. All right, you hear a lot about rates in the world of real estate because they have such an impact on our market. And right now, we're seeing rates come down to the low 7% range after they crested around 8% back in October. And this is great news for a lot of people who are thinking about buying a home. What this means is that it costs less to buy a home right now from a monthly payment standpoint. Because rates dropped, and buyers can now qualify to afford a higher purchase price on a home as well, and have the same payments that they would have on that less expensive home. So what it means for you is, on average, for a $500,000 home, assuming you're putting 20% down, this is a savings of $217 a month, going from 8% to 7.25%, right? That's a pretty big number in your monthly payment, and it also means you can qualify for more. Of course, this depends on your credit, income, assets, etc. We're also seeing more price reductions in the market lately, which means more sellers are open to negotiating down on price. And what does this mean? Well, there are some people out there who have said, hey, I wanna wait for the market to get better. I wanna wait till I buy. Now, there's still home selling with competition, don't get me wrong, but there's a little more opportunity out there now for buyers than we've seen in a while. And I'm clear we're at an inflection point in the housing market where there's nowhere to go for the market, but up from here. So if you're a home buyer, I'm looking at the fourth quarter of this year as an opportunity that I haven't seen since pre-pandemic. We've seen supply go up, rates have come down, and we're seeing sellers more open to negotiating. So if I'm a home purchaser right now, and I've been on the sidelines, I'm getting back into the arena. I'm getting back out there into the marketplace. And more importantly, I'm talking to an agent who can help me navigate all this. And if you're a home seller, this might still apply to you because most sellers are also buyers. And so you're selling to buy your next place and now you can afford more home on that next purchase. The flip side is when rates do come down even further, and we know that rates are projected in the second half of next year to be a little bit lower than they are today. We've got Freddie Mac, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, all of them, you name it, they're predicting a decline in rates next year. And when those rates do come down, it's going to be even more people entering the housing market. So there could potentially be enough competition to significantly raise prices next year, which may be good or bad for you depending on your situation. Hey, drop a comment with your questions, reach out to me directly. And if it's your first time on my page, please follow along for more tips.